This is the uh, official response of the complaints that I filed to the Arvada Police Department. Um, I will read through this in full. I just want to say that the uh, final two complaints seem like they were dismissed on somewhat shaky grounds. Um, I'm not sure if um, there would still be a case to be made there for any kind of legal recourse. Should I need to or choose to? Basically, a uh, letter reads, the Arvada Police Department received your complaint. It's provided to us in writing. I'm sorry, my recorder is in the way over these words. On 125-2023, the Arvada Police Department takes seriously our service to our citizens and conducting thorough and complete investigations. Internal Affairs has reviewed the contacts by our officers, including body-worn camera footage and the video footage provided by myself. Um, and which I'm actually happy that they did actually find this footage and go back and review this. Uh, please see the following paragraphs for a summary of each complaint and related findings. Uh, the first complaint occurred at Walgreens at 6390 McIntyre Parkway on 323-2022. You felt the officer stated you did not have any rights, which is exactly what he told me verbatim. You don't have any rights, Mr. Kingsbury. You need to leave. Um... Then I started recording. I acknowledge that I did not have the statement, um, this on video recording, because the officer would not repeat the statement once you started recording him. The officer was identified as Officer Elias Brown, who is no longer employed by the Arvada Police Department. So he either lost his job or transferred. So this complaint would be meaningless. Uh, and uh, they're using this kind of as a, as a setup um, to dismiss the second half of this. Based on the recording you provided, it could not be verified whether Officer Brown made this statement since he is no longer employed and cannot be interviewed. But he was wearing a body camera, so I guess they didn't check that one. There is inf insufficient evidence to prove or disprove the allegation. Next complaint was when you went to the Westwoods Community Station on the same date, 323-22. To complain, to Officer Eli complain on Officer Elias Brown to a lieutenant. You allege the lieutenant refused to give you a case report number or a citizen inquiry report such as you filled out on this complaint. He did refuse it and he told me that we don't do paper complaints. Based on my recording of the incident, the lieutenant was identified as Lieutenant Kelly Sheehan. Uh, I'm glad they found his name. Um, substantiate something there. The investigator spoke with Lieutenant Sheehan, who recalled the interaction and noted that he was not required to provide a case report n uh, number or a CIR uh, incident, citizen incident report form when he was taking the complaint in person. Lieutenant Sheehan later forwarded this complaint to Commander Kellogg, who was the commander officer of commander of Officer Elias Brown. Since the complaint simply alleged the failure to provide a written report or form and the lieutenant chose to take the complaint in person, this complaint is unfounded. Unfounded means the allegation is false or not factual. Um, that's interesting verbiage there. Um, so, in a roundabout way, that initial complaint to this Kelly Sheehan lieutenant could have been um, something that he, he actually did forward on. I, I just had no proof of it which is the only thing that I did not really appreciate. And even in here, it's stating that um, he's saying that part of his job, basically, you know, clap my hands is not my job to do that. Um, I wouldn't, you know, he didn't direct me to the right place, but he said, yeah, we don't do, he did kind of lie. He said, we don't do paper reports here. So if anything you got to tell me uh, that happened, I will take it and I will forward it up the chain. So, and this is him. He took a couple of notes, um, but a lot of it is going to be off his own memory of what I told him. So if this actually was any reason that Elias Brown got fired, um, they wouldn't tell me that in this. And then they're just going to say that both are unsubstantiated now because he's not an employee. I don't understand why they couldn't get his body cam footage in the first one. And... Uh, the, the the lieutenant did tell me uh, no complaint forms. Um, 
The next complaint you made was against officers who contacted you at the Walmart 9400 Ralston Road on 9-22-2022. The officers provided your information to the Walmart employees regarding who you were so you could be trespassed from the property. So, they... (laughs) They didn't give me anything in writing. The police did not trespass me. It's an it's an in-store um, thing that they do. So the my my problem with this is that the police forwarded my private information with no crime being committed. In the meantime, from the time that they told me to leave, it was about maybe an hour, and I was telling that I was I was working on leaving when they got hostile with me and began lying. Um, I'm going to upload that video, um, now, which after this one, which will show, uh, the interaction with the Walmart store employees. I think her name was Rebecca or something. And, um, it'll, it'll prove that they were lying, um, about the whole situation to the police. Um, I did not need to be trespassed and they forwarded my information. So... You cited a Privacy Act of 1974, 5th U.S. Code 552A, which applies only to federal employees. Now, I've cited the um, 4th and 14th Amendment, I believe. Um, Now, this is where I'm not a legal expert, but I know that there are parts, you know, right here. Um, it would say that government employees uh, are not able to do something. I think that the department is trying to say that we are superseding that within our own municipality, and we're we're saying that we are not going. To, we don't have to adhere to that law, and I don't know if I necessarily believe that. Uh, it does not apply to our VADA officers the, or the information provided to Walmart, the owner of the property where you park with the vehicle. The complaint is therefore unfounded. Now the big one. You next complain that Officer Futrell and Sergeant Beck tried to intimidate you and give you a municipal code citation for a violation which you state you did not commit on 11-16-2022 at 8001 West 59th Avenue. Investigators reviewed the body-worn camera from this incident as well as recordings provided by you. No citation was issued in this case after the sergeant arrived on scene. You were upset with the officer Futrell demanded your identification, um, and he's saying that Officer Futrell correctly demanded my identification because Officer Futrell was investigating a violation of law. Now, he says that he was investigating a violation of law. I didn't get a ticket. I asked in the video multiple times what the statute was that I was violating. They did not provide it. And uh, I I don't believe that I I have violated any law at all. So they're still going with that um, to excuse the actions. Um, It was a illegal request for my ID at that point. They, They should, in this response, they should be providing what statute or, or municipal code I actually violated. They don't provide that. So I, I, I'm not believing them 100% on this. Um, both Officer Futrell and Sergeant Beck were calm and professional during the contact. The, this complaint is unfounded. Yeah, you can be calm and threatening people with financial um, repercussions at the same time. That's still a threat. Um like I said, they didn't have any basis to ask me for my ID, which is illegal. This is not a stop an ID state. Um, and I w- <laughs> I mean, I wasn't even driving, so there's that. Um, I think if there's any basis to anything further to this, it would definitely be free trail and back. Um, I-, I don't know necessarily if there would be any financial recompense to providing my personal information to the Walmart employees on my end because I I did not have um, any real loss um, so far because of it. But uh, 
yeah, the the the, the stop by Futrell and Beck. Uh, <laughs> you need to cite you need to cite that code if you're going to tell me that uh, uh, the request for ID was actually illegal in the first place. You need to cite that municipal violation. They never did that, so I think this is just kind of sweeping it under the table a little bit. Like I said, I've still got two more uh, complaints that I'm able to provide uh, on some incidences that are still ongoing. Uh, and then uh, we're going to see what happens with that. And I will update my video of my encounter at Walmart with these uh, lying employees. All right. Have a good one.